What's going on guys? Devin's Reptiles here and today we are going to be working on a small 10 gallon bioactive enclosure for our baby anoles that we have here. There's a few there up on the walls. We've got six in total that we are gonna be making this enclosure for. We're going with just a small 10 gallon enclosure for now. So here is the tank we're working with. Just a 10 gallon tank with a screen top, obviously. And as you can see, it had some damage to it. So I just glued it up a little bit. And also right here, there was a pretty substantial size gap. So still a little bit there, but they shouldn't be able to get out of there. With this being a bioactive build, obviously you're gonna need some supplies. So you're gonna need your tank, of course. You're gonna need a barrier layer so that if it gets overwatered, there will be a small shallow layer of, you know, where extra water can go. You're gonna want the screen to go on top. This is a barrier, I don't know what I meant. Um, this keeps the substrate from mixing into the rock layer. And then you're gonna wanna have some plants, of course. Got a few here. Just a couple here. And um, substrate, obviously. Got some mix here that I made. It's just some potting mix, some sand, and some cocoa fiber so yeah we are gonna get oh and then obviously you're gonna need some sticks something for the animals to climb up around so yeah let's get started with our build want to have a drainage layer that is what i meant to say and since we're not using too tall of a tank we're just gonna do a thin layer not too thin Thick, you know probably just about there a good inch in half inch here we have our drainage layer as you can see I did not end up having enough rocks so I had to go back out to the go back outside and get some but now we are going to be adding our window screen or our substrate barrier it comes rolled up as you can see, but one way I found to get it to lay flat, just kind of crinkle it up a bit. I know it's gonna look weird, but it will lay a lot more flat after you crinkle it up. Nope. Now that we've got our screen in, you can tell it's starting to come together. We're going to get with the substrate next. We're going to get working on the substrate now. Like I was saying earlier, it is a mix of just some potting soil and some sand and then some cocoa fiber. I don't know the ratios at all. It was mostly... Mostly, um... Just topsoil. So yeah. So yeah. There's our substrate layer. Now we can get to the plants real quick. I don't know what any of them are called. I'm not good with plants, that type of stuff. But these two are the same. And that one has red flowers, so I think they'll be pretty. Let's go with this one, kind of back here, kind of here. Kind of dig it into the substrate, of course. Perfect, and there's our first plant. I forgot to show you in our list of supplies, but I collected this absolutely massive piece of bark we're gonna get that in thinking this way probably 
it's a little tall, so we'll just have to kind of press it into the substrate. That should be okay. There we go, just because it's a weird shape. Perfect. Now we've got one more plant here. I've had this one for a while and they've been in it and around it, so I'm not gonna worry about the substrate too much. Actually, a little bit because it's a little tall. I think we'll go ahead and put this one. I know it looks like I'm destroying it, but it should be all right. I think we're gonna go ahead and put it in this corner here. bunch of this real quick oh yeah that'll look super nice in there pack it in oh, I forgot to film it but you can probably see we've got our springtails in there Yep, there's a couple moving around. We're not gonna go with isopods just because I think they'll just get eaten too fast, honestly. Our enclosure looking pretty good. I'd say we're almost done. I'm just gonna wanna go ahead and add some kind of climbing. They are arboreals. Oh, I don't know if I've even said what this is for. Well, you'll know by the title, but this is for our baby anoles. So we have six of them right now. Oh, I definitely said it. Never mind. Showed you guys. Let's see how get some of these in there for them. They love to climb, so. Obviously, you want to get a lot of climbing bits in there for them. Perfect. We'll go one more, maybe. All right, it's looking a little empty in the middle there, so Random rocks, can never hurt. We'll go one there. We'll get one more in the front here. It's looking good. Nice new bioactive. No isopods, like I was saying. I need to get some, honestly. But yeah, let's get our guys in there. Honestly, I don't know how this is going to go. So, I'm thinking I just kind of take the top. Hmm, this could be very bad. Okay, you guys stay down. Nope, that's not down. That was a complete opposite. Instantly climbed up the wall. Well, here goes nothing. We'll just kind of tip them in. Go ahead, guys. Three, there's two more. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to. You want to be gentle, obviously, but if I try to touch them, they're going to climb me. Oh, there's number five. Number six guy. You're the last guy. Oh, there he goes. Let me quickly get this top on. Oh. One got out. I got him in my hand here. 
Okay. Whew. That was honestly a little stressful. For me and them, definitely. So we've got one, two, three, four back there on the ground. There's five. Oh man, I'm gonna stress all the time now because I'm never gonna find them all. Never gonna see all of them at once anymore. There's one, two, three there, four there, five there, and six there. We've got them set up over here next to our cave gecko and our water dragon. But yeah, I probably should have waited to miss the enclosure because you can't really see anything now, but you see a couple there, a couple there. It is gonna be really hard to feed them without them getting out because they, one did just get out already. He ended up on the floor over there. I had to catch him, but yeah, this has been building a bioactive enclosure for our baby anoles. So that's gonna about do it for our new enclosure here. This is gonna go on top because it's a small heat lamp also, as well as UVB. Just look at that. It's a little misty now, but beautiful enclosure. So yeah, that's gonna about do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. We'll have some more videos coming soon, of course. And yeah, this has been Devin's Reptiles, and we're out. Peace. It's about an hour later. One, two, three, four. There's our fifth guy. And six. Hard to see up there. So yeah, they're looking good and so far they're loving it.